The sudden death of former 8 News anchor and community advocate Lisa Schaffner shocked RVA and left many people searching for answers. It sure did. And tonight her family is sharing what led to the death of this dynamic and spirited as well as well-respected journalist. They sat down with her former co-worker 8 News investigative reporter Carrie O'Brien. And Carrie, I know that was quite the conversation to have with them. An emotional conversation, Eric, Deanna. Lisa Schaffner was just 59 years old and had appeared to be in good health. Her family realizes many of you have been asking what happened. Her children and husband opened up to me about the cause of her death and how they're coping. We're taking it day by day. Lisa Schaffner's daughter Danny and son Jesse Powell admit it's been hard not having their loving and vibrant Woo! mom around, especially this time of year. It's the first holidays without her, so it definitely hurts to have a, an empty placement at the table. The high energy. Hi, I'm Lisa Schaffner. Highly personable. Guess who has this very pair of shoes at home? Me! <laughs> Former 8 News anchor. Well, after the announcement, 8 News spoke with and community advocate you give good hugs. tirelessly dedicated to charitable causes passed away August 19th. With so many in the community touched by Schaffner, High five. the family is sharing her cause of death. The autopsy report shared with 8 News lists the cause as acute bacterial pyelonephritis, which is basically a kidney infection stemming from a UTI, a complication of a urinary tract infection. She had been feeling fine up until about four or five days prior to her passing. And she said she just was a little tired. Schaffner's husband, Ty Ashman, said she suspected COVID. She had multiple COVID tests. Every test came back negative. Two days later, she was dead. Of course, autopsy confirmed not COVID. Knowing the cause offers some closure. He knows what that means. That means I love you. But Schaffner's absence doesn't disappear. We were only married three months, but we were together 20 months, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Lisa showed me so much in just a short amount of time. She always saw the good in everybody. Ashman says you just learned to live with the hurt, but he and the children know Schaffner would want them to go on and continue to live a happy life. I had three wonderful children until I met Lisa, and I've got, I've got five. I only got a son. <laughs> <laughs> During Schaffner's funeral, her daughter mentioned a trending hashtag, live like Lisa. How are you living like Lisa? How's the family living like Lisa? Our mom had a huge impact on the community, and since we were children, she instilled that every day. Jesse and I try to consider others and how we can give back. And now they've started a foundation, hashtag live like Lisa RVA, to help all of us do just that. And we have information about the foundation in this story online. And I can tell you, Eric and Deanna, that I am living like Lisa, making my charitable contributions this holiday season. And I am wearing leopard print shoes. You may have saw them at the top of the show, but those are for Lisa because if you knew Lisa, she loved shoes. I think we could all strive to live like Lisa in our own way. And, you know, this could also serve as a, a, a red alert for folks to make sure they're paying attention to things like UTIs that maybe you would not be so sensitive to in the, in the past. Absolutely. It certainly heightened my awareness, and I think it probably will heighten a lot of our viewers' awareness as well.